Welcome to Mobile Meals, Steve Duval and Tom Shaw from Thor Motor Coach with you. This is the show where you get to see firsthand, that's right, you, that's, that is a serious you point right yeah. there. All the great things you can make in your motor home simply using an induction cooktop and convection microwave. You have got that down. I do. Look at that, man. I've been watching the prices right along. Man. Man. We gotta work on uh, maybe the yeah, this. Maybe, well, we put you in a dress. We know what you look like <laughs> in a dress, so get that out of your imagination. Huh. So today we're gonna focus on a little healthier eating because if you, let's face it, deep fried is good, right? Correct. Deep fried chicken, deep fried fish, and we have a mobile meals episode out there for you so you can see those recipes for you, but today we're gonna to do it a lot healthier. Fish and fries, that's what we are about today. Kind of kind of fish sticks, mm -hmm. kids love them, I love them, it's one of those foods you never outgrow. So we're gonna start with our french fries because this is one of those where timing is really going to be a lot different. Your fries are gonna bake up a little bit longer, a half hour, 40 minutes, compared to your fish, which is gonna take about 10 minutes. So we're gonna start with the potatoes. All right. Tom peeled these expertly yesterday. I did, I mean, he, real quick. I make him do all those jobs. So these were peeled, we let them soak for about 15 minutes in water just to get the starch off, and then we went ahead and we boiled them for about five minutes or so. So these should cook up a lot faster for you and supposedly get a little crispy, all right? So we're gonna drown them in olive oil, right? Nice and greasy there. And then we're just gonna put a nice blend of hobo spices on here. <laughs> we got salt, I don't think you can ever have too much salt on french fries. I wish we had some cayenne pepper because that would be really good. Yeah, so cayenne pepper or Cajun spice. Let's salt these up really, really good. Maybe a little bit of pepper on there. Maybe put some paprika. Whatever. We're gonna pair these with uh, with our fish. We're gonna get some seasoned salt on there. Nice. And maybe just a little more salt. We have our microwave so preheated. <laughs> well, you know. It's not deep fried. Yeah. All right, open that microwave for me. Sir laughs a lot. There we go. In we go, preheated microwave, door is shut, and we set our timer, and now we are going to turn our focus to the fish. We got our flour, seasoned salt and pepper, our egg wash, and our breadcrumbs. Now, as for what fish to use, a little, a little get to know Steve fact. I put myself through college by working in a seafood shop for a number of years. That's so I'll disgusting. have. It, you know, I smelled horrible. <laughs> I smelled horrible all the time. And I would go out and you know, say I had a, a date going out with friends after work. I smelled terrible. I smell like fish all the time. But I learned a lot. And so when you're doing something, you're making fish sticks or whatever you want to call these. I, I call them fish sticks. You could call them fish strips, fish thumbs, because, you know, they have chicken fingers. So we're going to have fish thumbs, right? So whatever you want to call these, use a thicker piece. This is actually, at least when I worked in seafood, uh, this is the scrod part of a cod. I know it sounds funny, scrod, and it would be, give me some scrod, and it just sounds, it still sounds wrong today. But that's what this is. It's a cod, the, the thick portion of a cod. So a pollock would be really good. That's another fish uh, that a lot of fast food restaurants use in their uh, fish sandwiches as well. So a thicker fish, this is actually really, really mild. It's not real, it's not a fishy fish. It's not a fishy fish. So we have our oil getting hot in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna dredge these in flour. All right, and then we're gonna put them in our egg wash and then we're gonna put them in our breadcrumbs and then these are gonna take about seven to 10 minutes uh, aside. And you're gonna wanna turn them and then again, we'll show you the neat little trick you can do with uh, butter. You put some butter in there and it really browns up the breadcrumbs. Make sure that you, know, you get it, the egg wash everywhere. Stick that in there. You shake the flour off. Otherwise, it's going to clump on you when it gets into. Again, this isn't deep fried. This, it's going to be healthier than deep frying. It's not going to be. I mean, we are going to kind of fry them in oil, just not deep fried. And you can choose the oil you want depending on your flavor. Uh, we're going to use an olive oil. You could use vegetable oil. You could use grapeseed oil. You could use coconut oil. One thing, though, you want to make sure of is the smoke point of the oil you are using. Our stove is at. Uh, 360, so that is what that pan is going to be at. And this gets a little bit messy, but sometimes this is a little fun part of the, of the job here. I'm gonna throw that one in there for you. Everything is breaded, we got our oil in a pan. All you do now is you drop these in the pan and you're gonna go about seven to 10 minutes aside. Make sure that that oil is hot. You're gonna wanna flip those over. And you know, these are kind of thick 
And what you can do to really get these breadcrumbs nice and brown, you can drop a few pats of butter in here, and that'll brown those breadcrumbs up nice and crisp and delicious. All right, our fish is done. You can tell because it is flaky, it is golden brown. Look at that. And this is, you can see it's all falling apart when we turn it here, but this is kind of how you want your fish to look. It's solid white in the middle, it's not pink, it's not translucent. Go ahead and put them on a towel to dry. Now, I know this isn't health food. We said it was a healthier version than deep fried, right? Put those on like a deli roll with some tartar sauce, maybe a little lettuce, a little cheese, make yourself a, a fish sandwich. Yeah, these really are so flaky, tender, nice piece of fresh fish will do that for you when it's done, just, just falls apart on you. Or you could cut them a little smaller and a little fish stick Fish size. nuggets. Fish nuggets, exactly. They have those, they serve those in my kid's school. Oh. Fish nuggets, it's one of my daughter's favorite day, fish nuggets. So we're gonna let the fish cool down, we're gonna let the fries brown up, away. get golden and tasty, and we will see you when the fries are done. Time to pull those fries out. They are going to be hot. Oh, look at that. Nice hot fries. We got some crispy edges there. We decided to toss a little Parmesan cheese on we there. We had it laying around. We said, well you know what? It. Let's just go ahead and throw that on there. And again, this is one of those things where you can, if you like your fries really crispy, put them in a little longer, you like them a little, a little, uh, uh, less crispy. Less crispy, I guess <laughs> is a great way to put it. Put them in a little bit less. It's always a contest at my house. I like them really crispy. My wife likes them a little less crispy, if you will. So we have a fork here. These are going to be hot. Again, you're really gonna have to time this because these were 55 minutes into the convection microwave at 425, the fish was about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on, you know, again, you want it to be solid color all the way through. So you kind of got to time it. The best thing that we found to, to do, you look behind us, we cleaned, yeah, right? We, we clean as we go. It just makes it a lot easier. Then you have more time to enjoy your food and less time to worry about all the cleanup. We also tossed these a little bit halfway exactly. through. Exactly. We, we tossed them. Exactly. So you could season them if you like a little more salt on there. We got our ketchup. We got our tartar sauce. We have our fish. Tom has a selection of hot sauce for his fries. So we got to rank this on the Aria scale. It's really pretty easy. We'll probably give it a, a three. Yeah, We're I would say a go three. A three. <laughs> all right. So you got a three on the Aria scale. We are going to let the fries cool. We're going to eat some fish, maybe put it on a sandwich. The entire recipe is going to be at the end of this video. It is everything you need to make this in your motorhome. So thanks for watching Mobile Meals. Remember, it's really not about the way it looks. It's about the way it tastes. We'll see you next time.